guys, JDB Fishing back with another video. And today I'm here with my dad. He's driving. Um, we're actually driving down to um, a place called Aranzas Pass in Texas. It's over near Corpus Christi, I think. And um, we're going to be going and catching some big redfish. So stay tuned. Guys, we made it to the hotel. Um, all right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using camera stuff tomorrow. So we have the GoPro Hero 3 Plus with a skeleton back door. Um, this is my friend's. Thank you, Garrett. Um, he's letting me borrow this because uh, my camera died in Costa Rica, and because um, the waterproof case leaked, and he's letting me borrow this for just this trip and a little bit before. And then I have the waterproof back door, so I should be able to get some decent underwater shots if, if I'm given the opportunity. Then I have my little DIY cinema rig. This was just built out of a little 1x3. Hold it up like this, you can get like little swoop in shots, stabilize your camera better, and um, you just got a little screwed in Allen wrench. And then I have a big camera that I'm filming on right now. The Canon EOS Rebel T6. It's a great budget camera if you're ever looking for one. Alright guys, we just woke up. We're about to head out. And I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah. It's like a tiny halibut. Yeah. You got him? Keep it tight. Hold the rod tip up. Hold the rod tip up. Let's get that. Let's get that front line in. And I'll get Let's go. Am I recording? That's red. I don't know how big he is. Doesn't seem too big. Here, cross. I'm gonna have to go to the front and uh, get that trolling motor out of the way. It doesn't seem too big. Never know. Please be 24 inches. You're right here. Don't pick him up out of the water, he'll get off. There, there's your first keep of red right there. Thank you, Keith. Let's go. Dad, we gotta get a picture. Alright, poor buddy might not live. He was hooked in the gills. Well, he kicked, but I don't think he'll make one. We'll First redfish ever. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. Come on, dude. There we go. Yeah. Get this other line in. Uh, this Look at the signs of life we're seeing here, at least. This is I know. Uh, a lot better than the last spot. I'd be fine with either species. Yeah. Preferably red. I think a nice red too. Wow. Good job, All right. Let's go. Now that's a keeper. Alright, that's a keeper. That's your keeper. Alright, Dad, we gotta get another picture. Alright. Not a, not a bad little redfish. No, and he lives. Oh, yeah. I've been loving you, baby. 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 I've
I'm just putting, putting that front pole in. I'm going to get this uh, trolling motor out of the way. That's a good fit there. That should be a solid ah. He's running towards me. He's still out there? He, yeah, he's running towards me. Ah. Please be a keeper. Oh, yeah. Looks like the last red. Hey, yeah, let him flow. Just let him flow. We'll get it. We'll come around. Personal best. Your dad can you get the rod real quick. Let some slack out. Uh, it's Twenty-one and three quarters. Twenty and three quarters. <laughs> oh. There you go. You want to get a picture real quick here? Uh, yeah. Grab him on them heels. Don't let him fall in the water. One, two. Okay. Uh, Personal best red. Good looking fish. All right. Finally. All right, guys. We're at a new spot. We just got a tiny bit of time to fish before tomorrow. We have popping cork with dead shrimp under it because they didn't have live shrimp. Oh, this is some sludge. Let's see what we can get here. There's mullet jumping everywhere. I just spooked something of size. This sludge is so bad. Oh, there it was. There it is. There's that species of size but I've never caught a trout before so I'd be happy with that guys I didn't get this on camera but I just caught a gator trout oh my goodness dad get the fish grippers with the side pocket of my camera bag and the scale and the pliers okay please Oh my god, he just engulfed that swim bait. Side, side pocket of my camera bag. Look at this. He engulfed that swim bait. He engulfed it. Hey, you need to hurry up. I, I will. Ah, he got me. All right, we're going to weigh this fish. Hurry up. You get a picture too. 220. 224. All right. Watch them off real quick. Yeah. First trout ever. Wait. This is really cool. Like today we ha we caught like no fish earlier, and then we just catch a gator trout. Let me just quickly measure him. Oh, he's 21. He's 21. I know. And there he goes. But that was a 21 inch trout. That's a nice trout. Man, I am so excited. I really should have got that on camera. But I just caught my first trout ever. But dude, that was a nice trout, 21 inches. I mean, that's not a super tiny one. Man, guys, that was very exciting. That was my first trout ever. That was pretty fun. Dude, that was exhilarating. Oh, just got bit. I felt, I felt it. It felt like the first trout bite. Uh, it felt like the first trout. That's fantastic. That's probably, that might be hype. That is probably bigger than the biggest sea trout I ever caught. Ah. You got beat by your own son in that. I don't know, I don't remember. I never, 
I don't remember hardly any of them that I was alive for big photo work. I saw the big red kids, but I can't remember. Yeah, if you guys don't know, my dad caught like a 37 inch redfish that was like easily 30 pounds, 20 pounds. I have Strike King 8 ounce redfish jig heads with um, silver uh, Berkeley grass pigs, like the smaller size. And it's worked just fine. Thank you, Rico, for getting me these swim baits. Thank you so much. And you know who you are, Rico. Wait, guys, if you guys know what makes a gator trout, like how big they have to be to be considered a gator, please let me know down in the comments, because I'm not sure if that one was a gator. I just use my, my hands as measuring tools, because each one of my hands is 9 inches thumb to pinky. I did two of those, that's 18 inches, um, and the trout had about 3 extra inches, so that was a 21 inch trout. Oh, I got bit. He completely annihilated the tail of this thing. Dad, look at this. Yep. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like late morning, mid-morning, it's 9.30. I think I'm just gonna try a popper just for the fun of it. I mean, you never know. Right over that grass over there. And Sawyer, you know who you are. I have your Twitch bait. And your swim baits. So, yeah. No, I decided to skip on that popper now that I think about it. I mean, I just got annihilated on that, uh, on the grass pig. I gotta re-rig that one. But I just caught a fish on the grass pig. And I just got the tail bit off of it. So I think I'm just gonna tie another one of these on. It's confirmed I have just beat my dad on who has caught the bigger speck. Oh, I have caught the bigger speck, which I'm pretty happy about. Because, you know, he beat me with his redfish that is 18 inches larger than mine. But I beat him trout wise. Well, I'm filming this outro at a very random time and it was way past the Rans' pass but the outro somehow got lost and my racks didn't delete it I don't even know but um, recap of the trip I caught a large speck um, two rat reds and a keeper my dad caught one rat red and the guide caught a little flounder but if you guys went on to enjoy this video please leave a like if you think my content is at least half decent um, consider subscribing and I want to see how many people get this far in the video so if you do get this far comment chief since my favorite football team just I just want to see how many people actually get this far. Anyways, remember to go anywhere and fish everywhere. Bye, peeves.